If you have a hard time loving yourself, this message has been trying to reach you. Please listen. I changed with the tides. Sometimes I am big, fierce, towering over the sea, destroying castles, carving pearls from sand. Sometimes I am small, gentle, rippling across shorelines, curling around ankles, sinking between toes. I change with the tides. I am learning to love all the shapes of me. If you see this, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and listen to this. To the person I am today, I promise I will start loving you again. I just need to remember how it feels to be proud of you, to look in the mirror and be in awe of you. I just need to remember what it was like before I told you you weren't good enough. I buried you alive, piling doubt and loathing onto your body like soil, so only I can bring you back to life, and I will, I promise. If you hide your sadness from others, you might relate to this. I am the master of silent suffering. No one can see through my somber smile. Like a crab in the sand, I burrow into my sadness and settle in like it's my home. No one ever seems to notice I'm underground. If you are looking for a sign, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and listen to this. To healing. Just when I thought I never would, I woke up and felt a little less pain. I walked a little faster, stood a little taller, smiled a little wider. Just when I thought I never could, I put myself back together. If anyone has ever tried to change you, tell them this. You cannot simply pick the pieces of me that you want and give the rest back. I am not yours to edit, alter, tailor, manipulate until I am perfect in your eyes. I never will be. If you are looking for a sign as we head into the new year, listen to this. I lost who I was forgot myself in the hands of someone who didn't know how to treat me. I'm slowly undoing their devastation, unfolding my corners and picking up the pieces that were chiseled away. I lost who I was, or maybe a better word is misplaced, because I found myself again, and this time, like a glistening shell found hidden in the sand, I'm placing myself in my hands and never letting go. To my mind, we are at war, you and me. An everlasting exchange of insults and new wounds and apologies that always come just a little too late. By the time you say I'm sorry, I have already absorbed the blow. A new battle scar has risen on my skin. My body cannot defend itself from you anymore, and I'm scared a truce will never come. You can close this chapter of your life and never look back. Or you can flip through the pages, revisit old memories, reflect on how different you once were. That's the magic of writing your own story. You'll meet new characters, travel to new places, face new obstacles, and the best part? Deciding how to overcome them and then realizing you can.